Okay, as we have seen in the previous lecture, Kafka topics are categories of feeds to which data streams or data records, also called as messages, are published to. Kafka producers publish messages to the Kafka topics and Kafka consumers consume the messages from the Kafka topics. Kafka messages are stored in log files on the disk in an ordered immutable sequence and new messages are continuously appended to the log. Now, let's uh, deep dive into a Kafka topic. A Kafka topic is actually only a logical grouping of one or more partitions. A partition is the actual unit of storage in Kafka and that is what is stored on the disk. Each partition has a separate log on the disk. As you can see in the picture, there are three partitions in this topic and each partition has a separate log file on disk where the messages in that partition are committed to. A partition contains a sequence of ordered immutable records that are continuously appended. Every record in the partition is assigned a sequence number, also called the offset, that uniquely identifies each record within each partition. Messages in a partition start at offset 0 and the offset increments by 1 for every new message. So the first message is at offset 0, the second message is at offset 1 and so on. Messages can only be appended in a partition. They cannot be modified or deleted. Now let's look at some properties of Kafka messages. Message format. Kafka messages are arrays of bytes of variable size. Common formats are string, JSON and Avro. Message size. Kafka messages do not have an explicit limit on message size. But the recommended size for high performance is a few kilobytes. And the recommended max size is one megabyte. Retention period. Kafka retains messages for a definite period of time. Time period can be set on a topic level or on a global level. Messages will be retained even after they are read. Messages will be discarded automatically after the retention period. So, hope you found this video useful. And if you want to check out the course, the link to the course is provided in the description below. Visit our website interviewgrid.com where you will find tutorials, courses and interview questions on a wide variety of subjects and topics. Finally, thank you and do not forget to subscribe to this channel since we will be posting new videos similar to this video every week.